Well, hello everyone. This is Stevio, and we are in the beautiful state of Virginia. And look at this beautiful, rich farmland we got going here. If you can tell over there, over the horizons, we got plenty farmyards spread out throughout this luscious, fruitful land we live in here. Oh man, is this one beautiful state. We are in the 70s, where it is more popular for the younger generation to take over the farm than run off to the city. We got our beautiful Ford truck here. We're taking a load of our, uh, just got a load of cattle. We're gonna break back to our beautiful dairy farm here. You guys are probably wondering, how did you, why did you go to Virginia? It's probably because the rolling countryside, the rich soil, everything just comes together. I mean, when you drive through the state of Virginia, you see more farmyards than I think almost any other place. Sorry, I have to drive through the, the equipment yard here real quick just to make sure there's nothing I need. Never know. This is a common trend with farmers. You always got to drive through the equipment yards. All right, so it's time. Who who knocked over that uh, stop sign there? That wasn't me. No one tell. Good thing is there isn't phones for anybody to take videos of it. So you're probably wondering which farmyard is ours. There's a ton of farmyards around this county. I don't know how many, but I'm pretty sure just in like a few square miles, you could probably count two to three farmyards at least. It's only because this ground is so fruitful, it's so abundant in crops. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Uh-oh, uh-oh, what do we got going on here? Okay. Get up there, Ford. Oh. This trailer here is giving everything this old Ford can handle. So right over here to the left is our beautiful farmyard here. Yep, we got a beautiful dairy slash crop farming going on here. And we are going to try to grow this into the biggest farm in the county. That's the goal here. This is Simon Family Farm. If you know, Simon Family Farms is popular because they do 164th modeled farms. Uh, which, when I was younger, I was, uh, oh, 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 almost hit our Jeep there. When I was younger, I used to collect a ton of 164th tractors and everything. That was my hobby to do. I would make farmyards out of them. I don't know. I, I guess that was just a nerd confession for you all there. I don't know. I just enjoy doing it. Leave me alone. No judgment. All right. Got the trailer unloaded there. Okay. So let's take a look around this beautiful farm here. We got our calves in here. If you can hear them bawling and crazy, they are. They want their mamas. and They want their mamas milk. We got, uh, this is for our young heifers here to uh, grow them up, fatten them up, or at least try to. Our ear corn storage uh, bin here. We got a ton of uh, bale trailers here. If you can see, this is our beautiful pasture yard full of our uh, mama's grazing there. Come on, get that milk, babies. So over here, we got hay storage. We got we got our beautiful Chevy truck here, our Silverado 30, pulling a gooseneck trailer there. This is where we do some of our silage mixtures and all that stuff. Our small barn here. Everyone has to have a small hobby farm here. This is where a couple of our calves get bottle fed. This is some of our cold storage right here. This building is actually empty right now. We got a grain cart, a 650 John Deere grain cart here. We got a little uh, 
CJ Jeep here over here to the side. This is our beautiful house where me and my wife live. We got a Ranchero Ford here. Beautiful red and white with the white wall rims and everything. Oh, just beautiful. And this is my wife's car. I have no idea why she likes it, but it's a Buick Riviera. You look at the inside here. Whoo, you talk about beautiful. Look at that pleather all around. Just look at that dash. Hmm. 120. Yep. This girl will purr. Purr. Listen to her. Whoo. Yeah. Beautiful sounding. All right. So this is our farmyard for the most part. We got a little hay bine over there. A few, uh, a few corn bins. Uh, we got a 4620 diesel John Deere tractor with a year-round cab and a uh, New Holland 185 little uh, manure slinger, pew slinger, 4020 diesel tractor here. One of my favorite tractors here on the farm with a little overhang sunshade there. Uh, we have been uh, cleaning out our uh, farm, uh, our little uh, milk stalls here. Little Johnny's able to drive in and out of this door, cleaning out these stalls, which is very convenient. If you ever had a skid steer, if you if it'll fit through a normal barn door, I tell you what, that is a game changer, or at least a back changer. And you might save your back. Let's just say it. We got a. Uh, Honda three-wheeler Run around over here. So we got a 1456 International turbo it's pulling a chisel right now uh, That that cab let me just tell you this cab is a uh, kind of teeny. Yep You can hit your elbows on this each elbow on this cab, but it is in the cold winter months, it is definitely a life changer here. We got an L3 Gleaner Harvester here, and yeah, we do have a John Deere head on it. Uh, sorry, it's just the one that works the best for this John De with on this Gleaner. We got a Mixall, Mixall Grinder Mixer here on a International Turbo. We got a uh, straight truck, Chevy straight truck, and we got a John Deere, a uh, 2280 diesel hay bind self propelled here. Talk about another small cab. You get in this though, if you see on here, the head goes up almost straight up in the air. Doesn't just uh, fold, swing up, I guess get yourself into trouble quickly because this is like a zero turn a giant mowing tractor here man if they made mowers into zero turns wouldn't that be convenient like uh, lawn mowers into zero turns hmm. all right out here we got one of my favorite tractors here the Steiger the turbo tiger this thing is a giant. We got it pulling a small disc here. Yeah, we kind of need to upgrade our disc probably. This thing is a beast. Love this beautiful tractor. It's one of my favorite tillage machines here. I definitely need to get a bigger disc for this beautiful girl definitely smokes out the neighbors all my neighbors definitely know when I'm in the field with this girl that's the way I like it because usually I beat them into the field they get mad once I get coffee and go to the barber shop and all that stuff we talk some smack to each other like always got to talk smack beautiful farmyard I just love how these hills roll on this farmyard in this area 
So if you know Simon Farms, they make the 164 uh, models. You can kind of see them at a lot of farm shows. Uh, they have, they're on Instagram. Check them out. They're pretty cool. Definitely brings you back to the days when you're on the farm. Or maybe it brings back memories you had while, while you're on the farm. So we got a 7520 John Deere here. It's pulling a John Deere. Uh, 20 foot planter drill planter here getting ready to plant some spring wheat here pretty soon can't wait look at this beautiful girl she's sm she'll smoke you out of a house and home I gotta say I'm really looking forward to farming in the 70s here because you know what it is just so much more peaceful when you farm in the 70s. Even though you know you work from sun up to sundown, you probably never had a day off for unless it was Sunday or Christmas. But thank you all for watching and I will see you next time over here in the 70s in Virginia. Hey if you have any ideas that you would like to see on this series, leave it down in the comments. I enjoy reading them. And hey, like the video before you leave. Thank y'all. I'll catch you next time. So you guys are probably wondering, why'd you skip the 60s? Well, I kind of did a lot of research and a lot of the farming didn't really improve until the 70s. And that's the main reason why. There wasn't a big enough difference between the 50s and the 70s for me. I guess uh, maybe you guys can put up a good argument of why we should have, but that was my reasoning. Thank y'all. I will catch you later.